own dog, own dog. Get some own dog footage. God, these things are fucking fine. Had an NZ, ah, fuck. Hey, what's good, YouTube? You're back with your man, Lucas Lawmans, back in the studio, Christchurch. South Norman, New Zealand. With another NZ Kit Chat kick ass sneaker review. Thanks for coming to hang out with us. We appreciate you being here. Come and join that Facebook community group. We've got sneaker heads, people with a minor interest in shoes, people with a major interest in shoes. We've got a great environment going. While you're here, hit the like, hit the subscribe, notification bell. So you'll know when I'm releasing vids every couple of days, three days at a stretch. We've got a bang for you today. Something that has evaded me three or four times this year already. Guys and gals in the NZ Kit Chat group know exactly what I'm talking about. Made a bit of a fuss about these. This, my friends, is the Air Jordan 1 High OG Court Purple. So we have got a little bit of a reselling fable behind these guys. I got the massive owl multiple times on these. A loaded drop, raffle online. Owl, culture kings online drop. Owl, on the Foot Locker AU drop. Owl, and then obviously at retail. I even had one of the NZ Kit Chat community members in there looking to try and cop for me. And what do we get? Owl. So it's been an elusive one for me. You could say that these are my personal 2020 grails, the Court Purple 2.0. So we're gonna dive right into the shoe, break the materials apart, NZ Kit Chat style. Some on feet and on dog footage. Now roll the NZ Kit Chat train out on here, ready for the next one. After those owls, I did hit the resale market and managed to get myself a pair. Had an NZ Kit Chat community member go out of his way to get me a pair at a semi-decent price. That is, keeping it under my $400 limit. Not under, on my $400 limit. Considering the state of what these are going for, they're sitting around anywhere between $450 and $550, depending on where you look and who's going to be asking and where you're getting them from and why that is. So the unboxing process was great. It came double box and bubble wrapped. Extra protection. We've got to love the extra protection. Whoop, whoop. And they come in the standard. Jordan 1 High OG Retro box. So Nike branding in red there with the black background as we jump in standard shoe trees but we do get a change of laces and as I have done with the blazer mid edge I've chucked in one of each colour for this review to be honest with you I think I love the purple more even in that tie dye I'm going to grab that one off the pedestal so we can start breaking it down and give you some of that on feet footage. So diving straight into the shoe starting with the materials up top so it is a relatively cheap synthetic although there are a different couple of grains of leather on this bad boy starting at the toe box there that white leather does have a pretty thick coating on it it looks the bomb it feels a bit better than the cheap synthetic plasticky stuff that's on the blazers but probably not by much it does have a texture to it but then the overlays around the toe box this gorgeous gorgeous purple which really makes these things so desirable in my eyes that is a higher quality leather you can feel it with your tongue feel it with your tongue uh. You can feel it with a decent press it is a better quality softer leather than the white underneath and then Yes, my friends, it smells very leathery. Not much glue in there as well. Love that new shoe smell. As we go around to the medial side, this is the classic Air Jordan 1 High OG 
color blocking that is the white panels middle and toe with the colored and black around the heel and that's how this one flows so we get to that mid panel it is back to that white leather almost like a semi tumbled sort of situation very lightly textured but it is a bit of a lower quality although you can see into the cut if we look in there and we'll see that that is obviously genuine leather but I still think it's going to be a lower percentage than say something like the Bloodline still haven't come across an AJ1 with the leather as soft and as nice as those. The swoosh is in this slightly more synthetic here again harder wearing leather in black and then as we go around to the heel counter classic AJ1 hourglass form we love that chucked a coating of sneaker protector on them straight away man it's bringing up those thick colored panels beautifully that purple's really popping on that heel as we go around to the literal side there we go again with that color blocking and that white with that black swoosh over the middle touching that purple again up around the collar and around that toe box as we keep going around it is definitely a slightly softer leather up around the collar we've got the classic Air Jordan 1 wings logo it is embossed in black that is a classic feature I like that much more subtly than the white on the royal toes for example and as we go across to the lace counter chuck it in with these bad boys the one that I'm looking at we've got the purple and the black I love that purple tie dye and the pastel and the way it fades in and out I think that's a great choice Nike I must be one of the minority reviewers however as I've seen most of them think that's kind of weird the, the mainstream guys but hey we're NZ kick chat we ain't fucking mainstream round here and we're going into that that tongue underneath it is the classic nylon tongue they should never fuck around with this personally my opinion it's comfortable it's cheap to make it's easy to pad and it does really make the shoe as we go up to the top of that tongue this is where I think we've got ourselves a permanent change from now on lads and lasses with the Air Jordan 1 high OG that tag at the top is now a piece of black leather with the purple Nike Air branding embossed on there they did this for the pine greens as well we may get a look at those in a review a bit further down the track it appears that this no confirmation out on the internet I did do my research but I won't confirm but it appears that this is what they're going to use as the distinguishing feature to differentiate these guys now from the new 85 cut we've had that one 85 cut varsity red and black bread sort of colorway and they have the Nike ear branding and the nylon tongue and then we've got these leather straps on the pine green and these court purples so that looks like it could be the way forward we go back down to the midsole the midsole is that classic Air Jordan 1 hard as fuck cup sole rubber cup sole inside that we've got an EVA wedge which in the heel locates an ear unit that's what gives it its, its Nike ear but being an Air Jordan 1 high OG you don't really feel it it's under the heel because it's encapsulated it's going to do fuck all underfoot comfort it's minimal but that's not re what really these guys are about as we go down to the sole classic classic outsole this is the Air Jordan 1 traction pattern now if anyone has actually hooped in a pair of Air Jordan 1s I have wasn't so great for the knees but holy hell that traction is still yet to be beaten this will give you a massive court squeak I wear them around the kitchen in my house today man you get some squeak going on and in this thick rich court purple it just looks like a piece of candy it's good enough to eat Purple is one of my favorite colors, and that's why I think I was so hyped up about this shoe. It really is just that color that makes these. There's nothing special about the materials, I'll be totally honest. They are still nice. It is a genuine leather shoe. It is going to benefit from significant wearing in and significant leather conditioning. You can soften these bad boys up, and they will actually feel a lot better and probably look a lot better. I'm super looking forward to just getting in, getting them on my feet, and getting some creases in. Creases. Yes, get those creases in there and then we'll know that it's all yours. So yep, resale prices I think will continue to go up for these in New Zealand specifically. We have got a little bit of our own micro market, us in Australia compared to other parts of the world and the way that those prices are going. I think I see these getting up around the $500 to $600 mark consistently in the next year or so. I hope that I am wrong. So that about does it for these guys. That is the AJ1 Court Purple. My personal grails for 2020. I'm gr glad I've got them in hand. Massive Lakers fan. Got stuff that are going to go with these. They're going to rock well with shorts in the summer thanks for joining us thanks for hanging out with us nz kit chat style come and join that facebook group get through some more admin hit the like hit the subscribe there let's get the word out there we're creating something awesome in the nz kit chat community here in nz that's the nz kit chat train rolling on down the hill we will see you on the next one thanks for joining us Boop. cool purples <laughs>